Walk into the AAAS building any day and you will see where we proudly display our LEED Platinum Award for an existing building. Despite the fact that 1200 New York Avenue was built at a time before many green technologies were developed, the AAAS leadership used the best available knowledge in the design and construction of its building. As the technologies have improved, we have upgraded and worked hard for the LEED recognition, a sign of our commitment to operate as sustainably as we can. Imagine that such an award system were available to recognize institutions, schools, and departments committed to and working toward diversity and inclusion in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and medicine, so-called STEM fields. Similarly, using a framework, metrics, and best available knowledge, imagine that institutions could move toward a rating that recognizes their commitment to and actions for equity, diversity, and inclusion in STEM. This is the vision of Sea Change. Clean air, clean energy, food security, access to drinkable water, critical infrastructure, cybersecurity, protection of the environment, health, and more. The challenges we face as a nation and globally require that our citizens and our workforce are scientifically and technologically literate and that they possess quantitative and computer skills. Many more 21st century jobs in technical and health fields require that people have education beyond high school. The growth in our population, especially among young people, is largely among groups who have historically had low levels of participation in scientific technical and medical fields. We in STEM understand the benefits of diversity. We value the global interactions among scientists, the free flow of ideas across borders. In the past, social traditions, for example, about the role of women or biases against a number of different groups, have led to their being marginalized and denied opportunity, including opportunities in science. This has limited the nation's and the world's access to talent for science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and medicine. Women of all races and ethnicities, African American, Latino, and American Indian men, persons with disabilities, low income, LGBTQ, and other populations represent most of those in higher education but not in STEM. How do we untie ourselves? How do we give ourselves access to the full range of talent for STEM? In the past, our efforts to increase diversity and inclusion in STEM meant fixing the women or members of minority groups. If only they had better entering credentials, more preparation, better test scores, more publications, they could enter the STEM enterprise. But research tells us that's not all of the story. A culture in STEM and the larger society that values genius and ascribes such genius to men rather than to women or to whites over any other population cannot be fixed by an intervention. We must address the culture. Bias in the way we judge who is talented or worthy hobbles the STEM community. We need to be able to identify those biases within our system. The way we admit students, make opportunities available to them, teach them. We need to determine whether there is fairness in the way that people are hired, promoted, and recognized. Do institutional policies, programs, processes, and practices bake in bias, perpetuate unfairness? Only through scrutiny of and response to correct the system can an institution see change? Inspired by the history and accomplishments of the Athena Swan Initiative in the UK, which focuses on gender equity in STEM, we at AAAS have launched Sea Change, a voluntary institutional recognition system for diversity and inclusion in STEM. Through a structured process of self-assessment, colleges and universities will identify the barriers to diversity and inclusion in their policies, processes, programs, and practices, 
analyze what needs to be done to address these barriers and put into place a thoughtful plan for research-based actions that collectively begin to change their system to one that is supportive of success for all. Through a process of peer review, Sea Change will consider the plans that are presented by institutions, schools, or departments with potential award of Sea Change bronze, silver, or gold recognition. A requirement for review at least every five years supports the process of continuous improvement. The outcomes from the UK experiences convince us of the efficacy of this system. While Athena Swan has focused on gender equity, sea change is appropriate to the circumstances in the US, currently includes race and ethnicity as well as gender, with specific attention to the intersection of these for women of color in STEM. We invite institutions to become members of the sea change community. We invite business and industry to articulate their goals for diversity and inclusion for the workforce they wish to attract, and as sponsors and champions to support our efforts to build this recognition system as a strategy for systemic change. Imagine a STEM enterprise where all talent is used, all talent is valued, and all talent is welcome. For more information, please visit our website. Sea change, sea change.